What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be talking about the new Triple Threat Online card that is coming today in NBA 2K20 with my team. So lads, this card here, it's looking like it's gonna be pretty good, I can't lie, I cannot lie, this card looks like it's gonna be insane. And also as well as that, we don't have it yet, we'll have it in like 90 minutes or so. We will be getting the new clues for, wow. This is not too bad, these XP's right here. They are not too bad at all. I too care giving an XP for so, like XP so easily. I am just, I'm saying, if, if someone doesn't get J.R. Smith because they didn't try, it's so easy. Like I have barely, barely played this game this season. Apart from getting Paul, apart from last weekend, was the only time I played it, and I'm sitting here on 41,000. But um, yeah, so there is going to be a new player to replace Julius Randle in Triple Threat Online. And I'm going to say it right now, dude's not as good as Randle. The guy is not as good as Julius Randle. He's just simply not. Like, I know a lot of people will want to say, um, oh, this card is great, but I mean, he's decent. He's decent, that's all I'm going to say. But before we get on to it, thank you guys for all the support recently, like 246-200 nearly, which is crazy. And lads, we are trying to hit 250k by the end of the month. So we have roughly half a month to hit like just over 3,500 subs. So it's going to be very, very close. But if we can hit that by the end of the month, that would be absolutely, absolutely insane. Huge thank you guys for all the support recently though. But lads, the new card that we have got is Ron Harper. So triple try outline, Ron Harper. Okay, let's have a look at this guy's stats and badges. He's a 6'6 point guard with a 6'9 wingspan. So that's Lonzo-like. So 88 three ball, 88 mid range, 95 close. Not great, not terrible. Um, shooting badges, like yes, he's got catch and shoot, hot zone hunter, hot star, difficult shots, go corner specials. He doesn't come with dead eye, which is one of the most expensive badges in the game. If you're on next gen, he doesn't come with blinders. He, um, doesn't volume shooter kind of matters for point guard you know what he has most of the good badges clutch shooter is badge that it's all right but he doesn't have it defensively he's got 12 half defense badges which is to expect that it's ron harper he's got a bunch of playmaking badges um quick first step hall of fame unpluckable hall of fame tight handle space creator handles three days floor general downhill dimer ankle breaker so yeah a bunch of really really decent um hall of fame playmaking badges 98 lateral quickness, 98 perimeter defense, 98 steel, 88 blocks with defense elite, uh, 96 speed, speed of ball, and acceleration, 90 driving dunk. So that looks pretty good. I don't like that release. Like, yes, it's a nice upper, but the problem is, like, it's Gary Trent Jr. It's Gary Trent Jr. with a different upper, and Gary Trent Jr.'s release is not good. I don't care what anyone says. It might be alright on next gen. I will say that it might be okay on next gen, it's not it on current gen. It's really not. It's not horrendous, but it's not great. Um, he has got Pro 2 Escape, Pro 2 Sizer, which is good. Slasher Dribble Style. So again, the guy can't quick stop on next gen. Like you can't, you cannot run him a point guard on next gen. I'm just gonna say that you can't. Well, you cannot run him as a primary ball handler on next gen. You like he's not gonna be it. He is not gonna be at all as a primary ball handler next gen. Um, but he still can carry bad behind the back. Good dunks, though. Like, he's going to be decent on current gen. He's going to be fine. But, like, let's have a look, like, comparing to Lonzo Ball. Obviously, he's got a lot more half badges than Lonzo. But, like, Lonzo's a better three ball. They both have gold, very similar, like, shooting badges. Did he both have half flexible? No, you only have gold flexible on Harper. You've got more hot zone, one more hot zone on Lonzo. Lonzo's got a way better release. He's got that. He can quick stop on next gen with the shifty dribble style, although he can't curry, so it kind of evens out. And Hall of Fame clamps. I mean, he's just another Lonzo, isn't he? And on current gen, he's a much worse behind the back. Like, their defense is very similar. Obviously, you've got extra Hall of Fame badges. But I'm telling you, um, depending on what gen you're on, gold versus half interceptor doesn't make that much of a difference. On current gen, it does. On next gen, it doesn't whatsoever. Um, but Frank as well. I like got 30 half badge, longer wingspan than Ron Harper, better release than one Ron Harper. 
Um, he's got the better dribble style than Ron Harper, a better behind the back than Ron Harper. Same mid, basically the same mid range and three ball. Basically the same defense except the lower block. One more defensive Hall of Fame badge. I mean, he's like worse Frank. I mean, he's not objectively bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's he's not great. And like after the Danny Ferry card we got last week, being like the literal best card in the game to this day, I still stand by Danny Ferry being the best card in the game. It's a bit disappointing that we have this Ron Harper, honestly. It is a little bit, a little bit disappointing. So will I grind for this card specifically? No, I'm not going to grind for him. Like people are grinding for Ferry. I don't advise anyone really to grind for Ron Harper. Like it's not like he's the worst card in the world. So if you get him, he's better than he's better than like Spencer Haywood. He's better than um, downtown Freddie Brown. So like it's not like he's a bad card, but like if we're looking at the point guard position, whereas like Ferry was absolutely elite. Like if we're looking at point guards, like Weber is better than him and he's not that expensive. Is way better than him. He's not that expensive. I'm trying to think of guys you can get for buyouts. I mean, Lonzo was like 30k, and Lonzo's comparable to him. Um, ha Halliburton's better than him. I'm just putting it out there right now. Tyrese Halliburton is better. Is like way, way better than him. Like only an inch smaller, better shooter. Um, same or better, worse behind the back, better release. I need quick stop. So Halliburton, we can quick stop next. Halliburton, I'm gonna say he's better than Ron Harper, but he's not like terrible. So anyway, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Were you guys happy? Were you guys disappointed? Like, I called it yesterday. Like, in my video yesterday, I was literally making a prediction and I was sorting point guards um, by height. I wish, like, I got the wrong 6'6 six, six point guard. My prediction was, again, you can watch my video yesterday. My prediction was you're getting a 6'6 six, six point guard. But I wanted either Justice Winslow, maybe 6'7". But basically, I wanted Michael Carter-Williams. That was the player that I predicted. And I would have much rather seen a base 31 on very quick. Even And they would have made him Curry as well, the pro six behind the back. I think a Michael Carter-Williams, even with a shorter wingspan, would have been a much better card in game. But at the end of the day, we got what we got. We still have a decent decent tall in the point guard. Um, He'll be fine. I don't see anyone using him in the squad. Like, if you want to make an all-time Bulls squad, you've got a point guard that's probably similar level to that there. No, he's not better than Derek. He's not similar level to Rose. You've got a good backup for the Derek Rose. You've got a good backup at point guard if you're running an all-time bull squad. And that's that's really it. Um just like Ron Harper. I mean, hopefully 2K juice the odds. Hopefully 2K juice the odds because this is a card that would not even be bad if almost everyone that played the game mode got him. He's very meh. Like he's not as good as Randall. He is very, very meh. So yeah. Let me guys let me know in the comments are you guys grinding for him or not? I'm not grinding for him. I'm just putting it out there right now. If I get him, I get him. If I don't, I don't. I am most definitely not grinding for the card. I think he's gonna be decent. I think he's going to be very, very decent. He's not by any means a bad card. He's a nice six six point card, but he's one of those cards where it's like if you get him, great. If you don't, there should be no FOMO, there should be no fear of missing out. He's not someone you guys should go out of your way to grind or be feel hard done by if by the end of the season you don't get him. This is not a Danny Ferry. This is not a Terry. Um, this is not. Heck, this is not even a Wayne Embry. This is like a downtown Freddie Brown level card. Like him him right now. He's obviously better than Fred Brown, but him right now is the equivalent of downtown Freddie Brown when he first came out. So yeah, that is pretty much it, lads. That is the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.